In this video, we shall discuss how to calculate fire insurance claims when GP ratio is given in the question or GP ratio is not given in the question. Before moving on to the problems, first we shall have an understanding about what is fire insurance. Every business organization faces certain type of risk. One such risk of a business organization is a risk of fire accident. If a fire happens in the uh, premises of the business, what will happen? The stock will get destroyed, the asset will get destroyed and the business will not be able to function. It has to close its activity for a certain period. So there will be loss of profit also. So to protect the business firm against the risk of fire accident, what will the business do? They will take an insurance policy. They will take an insurance policy. policy. So if a fire accident happens in the business premises, this insurance people, they will compensate the loss. So this fire accident policy can be of two types. It can be a loss of stock policy or it can be a loss of profit policy. In this video, we are going to see loss of stock only. That is, if the stock of the uh, business gets damaged due to the fire accident, if the stock of the uh, business gets damaged, then that loss, loss of stock, the loss to the stock will be compensated by the insurance company. Uh, the other important terms that you should know is what is insured stock. Insured stock is nothing but uh, the amount for which the policy has been taken. Uh, the portion of the stock for which the policy has been taken. The insured stock, it can be either full insurance. We can take full insurance, full all the stocks can be insured or the only a part of the stock can be insured. This is partial insurance. If the full stock is being insured, the formula for calculating amount of claim will be different. And if only a part of the stock is insured, this will be called as average clause. The average clause will apply. In this video, we will talk about when the full value of the stock is insured. Okay, when the part of the stock, when a portion of the stock is insured, then what will happen? Average clause will apply. This we will see in the next video the link i have given it in the description box okay policy value is the amount for which the insurance policy is being taken then salvage value salvage value means the portion of the goods that are saved from the fire accident the portion of goods that is saved from fire this is called as salvage value Okay, now how to calculate the amount of claim? As I already told you, this amount of claim formula will apply when the goods are fully insured, when the stock is fully insured. If the stock is fully insured, the formula for calculating amount of claim is stock on date of fire minus salvage value. This salvage value will be given in the question. The salvage value will be given in the question. The stock on date of fire we have to calculate. How to calculate the stock on date of fire? For this you have to prepare a memorandum trading account. So as the name itself tell you this is a trading account. The format of a normal trading account will apply here. So in the trading account in the debit side we will record two opening stock. Then two purchases. If there are any returns we will deduct our returns and write the answer in the outer column. Then we will record all direct expenses. So I hope you all know what is direct expenses. Examples of direct expenses are wages, power, coal, fuel, manufacturing expenses, import duty, carriage inwards. All these are examples of direct expenses. Then we will record sales in the credit side. If there are any returns, we will deduct the returns and then write the amount in the outer column. Okay, normally when we are preparing trading account, in the question closing stock will be given, we will record it and in the credit side uh, and in the debit side, the gross profit will, uh, will be our balancing figure. But here, the closing stock will not be given. We have to calculate that. But uh, for calculating gross profit, a GP ratio will be given in the question. So, whatever is the sales value in the Whatever the sales value that you record here, that sales into GP ratio will give you the gross profit. The G, this GP ratio will be given in the question. So sales into GP ratio will give you gross profit. 
Now, if you tally your account, the balancing figure will be in the credit side and this balancing figure, we will not call it as closing stock. Instead, we will call it as stock on date of fire. So, this will be our balancing figure. So, this is the answer that we want. This is a stock on date of fire. So, this is the answer that we want minus salvage value. We will get the amount of claim. Now, let us see a few examples. This is the question that I have taken. A fire occurred in the premises of a firm. From the books which were saved from fire, it was ascertained that sales from 1183 to 311283 is 12,800. Purchases from 1183 to 311283 is 840,000. Stock on hand on 311282 is 2,36,000. Gross profit for the past 5 years had averaged at 30% on sales. The value of stock salvaged was agreed at rupees 30,000. Draft a statement of claim. Okay, as I told you, we have to prepare a memorandum trading account. So, I have given the title Memorandum Trading Account for the period ending 31 12 83. This is nothing but the date that is given here. The date that is given in the question that I have written there and a particular column, amount column, particulars column and amount column both in the debit side and in the credit side. Okay, now as this is a Memorandum Trading Account in the debit side first we will record to opening stock. Okay, now look into the question. See, it is given stock on hand on 31-12-82 is 2,36,000. So, this is our opening stock. 2,36,000 is our opening stock. After recording opening stock, we will record purchases. So, two purchases. In this problem, we have, we don't have any returns. See, only purchases is given. We don't have any returns. So, I am writing it in the amount column as it is 8 lakh. 40,000. Then we will record expenses, direct expenses. In this question, there is no such direct expenses. So, I am moving on to the credit side where we will record sales. There is no sales returns in the question. See, the value of sales is 12,800. So, I am writing it here. The value of sales is 12,800. I don't, I think the value is wrong here. It is 12,80,000. The value of sales is 12,80,000. So, I am recording it in the credit side. 12,80,000 is the value of sales. Now, as I told you, closing stock will not be given. We have to calculate gross profit to gross profit. How to calculate gross profit? Gross profit is nothing but sales value. Here the sales value is 12,80,000 into GP ratio. What is the GP ratio? It is 35% on sales. This is very important. It is 35% on sales. If it is on sales, you should write it as 35 divided by 100. If the GP ratio is on sales, it is 35. The percentage that is given in the question divided by 100. So, 12,80,000 divided by 35 percentage will give you 4,48,000. Now, tally your account. The total that you get is 15,24,000. So, I am writing the total on both the sides. And the balancing figure is 2,44,000. This will be the stock on date of fire by stock on date 
date of fire within bracket b dot f so we have calculated the stock on date of fire the next step is we have to calculate the amount of claim the formula for amount of claim is stock on date of fire minus salvage value so i am substituting the values the stock on date of fire that we have calculated is 2,44,000 minus salvage value look into the question the value of stock salvaged was agreed at rupees 30,000 so minus 30,000 therefore the amount of claim is 2,14,000 so I hope you understood this problem the next question that I have taken is a fire occurred in the premises of sorry a fire occurred on 1193 in the godown of Mr. Ganesan from the following information prepare the amount of claim stock on 1193 25,300 purchases from 1193 to the date of fire 50,400 manufacturing expense sorry, sales from 1193 to the date of fire is 1,56,000 Manufacturing expenses and wages 60,000. Goods taken by Ganesan at cost 2,500. Rate of gross profit on cost is 30 percentage. Value of uh, stock saved is 3,600. 3, okay, with this information, we have to prepare a memorandum trading account. So, I have given the title memorandum trading account for the period ending 1193. I have taken the date from the question 1193. Okay, so in the trading account, in the debit side, the first item that we will record is 2 opening stock. 2 opening stock. The opening stock that is given in the question is 25,300. So, I am writing it here. 25,300 is the opening stock. Then, opening stock, we have to record purchases. See, in this question, the value of purchases is 50,400. And look at this adjustment. Goods taken by Ganeshan at cost. So, Ganeshan is the owner. See, Mr. Ganeshan. Go down of Mr. Ganeshan. So, he is the owner. The proprietor is taking goods. If the proprietor is taking goods, it is treated as drawings. If he takes cash as uh, drawings, it will be drawings account data to cash account. If he takes goods, if he withdraws goods, the entry will be drawings account data to purchases. So, we have to deduct the purchases value, uh, we have to deduct the value of goods taken from purchases. So, the total purchases is 50,400 out of which 2,500 is taken by Ganesan. So, minus 2,500. So, 47,900. After recording purchases, we have to record direct expenses. In this question, we have manufacturing expenses and wages. So, I am recording it to manufacturing expenses and wages. It is 60,000. Then we will record sales by sales. In this question, we don't have sales returns. So, the value of sales is 1,56,000. I am writing it in the outer column. After recording sales, we have to calculate gross profit. So, for calculating gross profit, look into the GP ratio that is given in the question. The GP ratio is given on cost. See, on cost is 30 percentage. In the previous problem, I hope you remember, the GP ratio was given on sales. If the GP ratio is given on sales, the percentage will be whatever is the profit percentage that is given in the question that you will write it in the numerator in the denominator you will write it as 100 i will repeat this if the gp ratio is given on sales in this problem it is given on cost in the previous question it was given on sales so whatever is the profit percentage divided by 100 if it is given on cost like this problem in this problem it is given on cost so how will we calculate Whatever is the profit percentage, you write it in the numerator, divided by 100 plus whatever is the profit percentage that is given in the question. Okay, if the GP ratio is given on sales, the profit percentage divided by 100. If the GP ratio is given on cost, profit percentage divided by 100 plus profit percentage. So, let's see how to do it. See, the sales value is 1 lakh. 56,000 into 
what is the profit percentage it is 30 divided by 100 plus 30 it is 130 so the gross profit is gross profit is 36000 now we will tally the accounts and 169200 so i will write it on both the sides 169200 and the balancing figure is 1200 this will be your stock on date of fire. So now we have calculated the stock on date of fire. We are moving to calculate the amount of claim. The formula is stock on date of fire minus salvage value. So we have to substitute the values. The stock on date of fire that we have calculated is 13,200. Salvage value will be given in the question. See it is 3,600. So if you deduct the salvage value from the stock on date of fire, you will get the amount of claim. Claim is 9,600. So these two problems we have worked out when GP ratio is given. See in the question GP ratio is given. So this is how we will calculate amount of claim. The other type of problem is this GP ratio. This GP ratio will not be given in the question. Then how will we calculate? See I have taken this question for example. A merchant Gudon got fire on November 3, 1992 at night causing serious damage to stock. The following other information. Stock on 31 12 90, 45,000. Stock on 31 12 91, 50,000. Purchases during 91, 4 lakh 75,000. Sales from January to November, 4 lakhs. Purchases from January to November, 4 lakh 40,000. Sales during 91, 5 lakh 87,500. Assuming the rate of gross profit on sales has been the same in 91 as in, in 92 as in 91, estimate the value of stock in the godown at the time of fire. Okay, in this question, see check uh, the GP ratio is not given. In the previous problem, GP ratio was given, but here GP ratio is not given. So how will we calculate? We will prepare the trading account. We will prepare a trading account for the year before the fire accident. For example, check in this question. The fire accident happened in the year 1992. So, we will prepare the trading account the year before the fire accident. So, 92 la fire accident happened. The year before fire accident is 91. So, for the year 91, we will prepare the trading account. The information for that is given. See, opening stock is given to opening stock the opening stock is given for on 31 12 90 the stock is 45000 so this is the opening opening stock then we will record purchases see purchases during 1991 the purchase value is given so write purchases there is no returns so i am writing it directly in the outer column it is 475000 there are no direct expenses, so I am recording sales. Sales, I have to take 1991. We have to be very careful when you are taking purchases and sales. You have to take purchases, sales for the year 1991. That is the year for which you are preparing trading account. Only that purchases and sales you have to take. It is 5,87,500. Then closing stock. See closing stock for the year 1991 is given. So in the credit side we will record closing stock. The value is 50,000. Now tally your account. You will get gross profit as your balancing figure. Plus 6,37,500. I am writing the total on both the sides. The difference is 1,17,500. This will be the gross profit which is the balancing figure. Now having calculated gross profit, we have to calculate the GP ratio. The formula for calculating GP ratio is gross profit divided by sales into 100. The formula for calculating GP ratio. GP ratio is equal to 
gross profit whatever gross profit that you have calculated that gross profit divided by sales into 100 okay so i am substituting the values the gross profit that i have got is 1,17,500 divided by sales is 5,87,500 into 100 and so that i get is 20 percentage so if the gp ratio is not given in the question we have to prepare a trading account for the year before fire accident the fire accident happened in the year 1992 we are preparing trading account for the year 1991 you record opening stock purchases if direct expenses are given write the direct expenses in the debit side and in the credit side you record sales and closing stock tally the account you will get gross profit then you calculate gp ratio how to calculate gp ratio gross profit divided by sales into 100 this is the gross profit this is the sales multiplied by 100 you will get the gp ratio now you have to prepare the memorandum trading account for the year of fire accident so record the opening stock to opening stock previous years closing stock will be the next year's opening stock so i am writing it as 50000 then two purchases look into the question don't take for the year 1991 purchases and sales for 1991 don't take that you have to take this from january to november 1993 sorry 1992 there is no purchase return so i am writing 4 lakh 40 thousand in the outer column we don't have any direct expenses in this question so i am writing sales we don't have sales returns and the sales is 4 lakhs. Now we have to calculate GP. 2 gross profit sales is 4 lakhs and GP ratio is 20 percentage 20 by 100. I have taken this 20 from our calculation. The ratio that we get is 80,000. Now tally your account is 5,70,000. Figure is 1,70,000. This will be your stock on date of fire. within bracket b dot f stock on date of fire we have to calculate the amount of claim formula for amount of claim is stock on date of fire minus salvage value so let's substitute the values stock on date of fire is 1,70,000 the salvage value that is given in the question is salvage value that is given in the question so there is no salvage value so the amount of claim will be 1 lakh 70,000 only there are no goods saved from the fire accident so the amount of claim is 1 lakh 70,000 so one more problem I have taken under uh, this method the premises of a merchant caught fire on 110.92 and her stock was damaged the stock was fully insured stock on 31.12.91 stock on 31.12.90 Purchases from 1192 to date of fire, purchases up to 31-1291, sales up to 31-1291, sales from 1192 to date of fire. Additional information, in May 1992, goods costing rupees 5000 were given as free samples, no entry is made in the books. During 1992, a clerk misappropriated unrecorded cash sales of rupees 2000. The rate of gross profit is constant. The stock salvaged was rupees 1500. So here in this question again, the GP ratio is not given in the question. So we have to prepare trading account for the year before fire accident. See the fire accident happened in the year 1992. So we are preparing a trading account for the year 1991. So we have to first record the opening stock to opening stock. So the opening stock on 31 12 1990 is 19,228. Then we will record purchases to 
purchases in this question there is no returns so i am recording the purchases as it is see the purchases up to 31/12/1991 90516 and then there are no direct expenses so we are recording sales no sales returns are given so i am taking sales up to 31/12/1991 when you are taking sales and purchases make sure you are taking the correct sales for the year 1991 it is 1,4000 then you record your closing stock by closing stock see stock on 31/12/91 it is 26544 tally your account the balancing figure is 20800 this is the gross profit to gross profit within bracket b dot f now we have to calculate the gp ratio gp ratio is nothing but gross profit divided by sales into 100 so substituting values gross profit is 20800 divided by sales 1,4000 into 100 it will give you percentage so this is the gross profit having calculated gross profit we shall move on to the memorandum trading account so in the memorandum trading account in the debit side the first item that we will record is opening stock so previous years closing stock will be current years opening stock so it is 26544 okay now look into this additional information when i was preparing the trading account i did not check this additional information because the year is related to 1992 both the additional information is related to 1992 so now only we are preparing trading account memorandum trading account for the year 92 we prepared trading account for the year 91 so during that period this adjustment is irrelevant so i did not check this now look here in may 1992 goods costing rupees 5000 were given as free samples no entry has been made in the books so when you distribute goods as free samples it is a kind of advertisement when you pay cash for advertisement the entry is advertisement account data to cash account instead of cash if you give free samples then the entry will be advertisement account data to purchases account so you have to deduct it from purchases so to purchases the amount given in the question from 1192 to date of fire is 70000 minus 5000 so in the outer column you will take only 65000 there are no direct expenses in the question so we are moving on to the credit side in the credit side you have to record sales see there is one adjustment for sales in 1992 a clerk has misappropriated unrecorded cash sales for rupees 2000 that is there was a cash sales to the value of 2000 which the clerk did not record he misappropriated he did not record it so now what we have to do we have to record it if you are recording a cash sales if there is an additional sales this is an a sales which has happened but which has not recorded so what should you do you should add it so we have to add it with sales the sales amount is on 1192 to date of fire it is 1 lakh 1 lakh is the value of sales plus you have to add this 2000 so the total sales value is 1 lakh 2000 rupees then you have to calculate gross profit we have already calculated gp ratio it was not given in the question we calculated gp ratio it is 20 percentage so 1 lakh 2000 is the sales into gp ratio 20 by 100 20400 as the gross profit now tally your account and 111944 so we are writing it on both the sides 111944 figure is 9944 this will be the stock on date of fire
so after calculating the stock on date of fire we have to calculate the amount of claim substituting the values 9944 minus salvage value look into the question it is 1500 so minus 1500 amount of claim is 8444 this is the amount of claim so i hope you have understood how to calculate fire insurance claims when the shop, the stock is fully insured that is there is no average clause and when gp ratio is given and when gp ratio is not given thank you for watching